welcome to 5 minute school and in today's video we're going to be discussing alcohols. So what are alcohols? They are compounds with a hydroxyl group or an OH group bonded to saturated sp3 hybridized carbon atoms. So what that means is you'll have a carbon group here it will be saturated which means there won't be any double bonds it will have an OH group and the fact that it's sp3 hybridized means it can make four bonds like this and these can be different uh, like functional groups and we'll go into that in a bit more detail the types of alcohols you can have now this definition of alcohols doesn't include phenols which is where you have an OH group attached to an aromatic ring it doesn't include phenols and it doesn't include enols which is where you have a OH group bonded to a vanillic uh, carbon which is with one which has a double bond but the rough definition is this where you have a hydroxyl group bonded to a saturated sp3 hybridized carbon atom now there are three different types of alcohols you can find the first one is a primary alcohol which is where you have a central carbon atom with a hydroxyl group there will be a hydrogen atom here, another one here and a organic or residual group here okay this is primary so an important thing to remember is the hydroxyl group will be bonded to the carbon and there will be two hydrogens it could be the hydrogen here or the hydrogen here but there will also be a residual group okay it's where there is one residual group bonded to the carbon a secondary one is where you'll have the central carbon with the uh, hydroxyl group it will be bonded to a hydrogen here but there will be two residual or organic groups a tertiary one is where you have the central carbon attached to the hydroxyl group here and there will be three residual groups here meaning there are no hydrogens there this is a tertiary now the manufacture of, of uh, alcohols there's two important mechanisms so you have fermentation which is where you have glucose and the formula for glucose is C6H12O6 plus yeast so yeast is the enzyme and you'll get CH3, CH2OH, which is ethanol, plus 2CO2, carbon dioxide is the byproduct. That's one mechanism for the for manufacture of alcohols. Another one is acid catalyzed hydration of ethene. So you have ethene here, plus water and sulfuric acid will be the catalyst H2SO4 gives CH3 CH2OH so those are two important mechanisms for the manufacture of alcohols now one factor you need to consider about alcohols is they are very similar to water so water is oxygen with hydrogen and hydrogen Alcohols can be considered very similar to water because they have the oxygen here, hydrogen here, but the only difference is this is a residual group, so it can be carbon, CH3, uh, it could be many different things. So this is what makes alcohols very similar to water. So, because they have a similar structure to the water, they can also undergo hydrogen bonding. So when you... Um, dissolve an alcohol in water or when it's in solution they will become very associated with each other and become very compact this is mainly because of hydrogen bonding so the OH group will become positively polarized from one molecule and then hydrogen bonding will mean that it will attach itself to another molecule forming dipoles so it will look something like this you have a hydrogen here, the oxygen group here. It will form the hydrogen bond to an adjacent one. And we have the residual group here. 
like this. And it's forming dipoles, so this side is slightly positive, this side is slightly negative, slightly positive, slightly negative, and that's how it works. Physical properties that this causes it is it means that alcohols have a much higher boiling point when in comparison to other molecules like alkanes or chloroalkanes. So that's enough for today's video. In the next one we'll be discussing the the ways alcohols can be slightly acidic and slightly basic. So thanks for watching.